So the first time you both started a uh, race as, uh, as the leader of the team, uh, what has to happen in the, in the race to decide uh, who's best uh, of you? I mean, we have uh, definitely just a, a strong team and it's not really necessarily now to, to say uh, is, is that me or is that Jonas uh, to in front, but uh, we, we all know or need to realize the fact that we want to achieve, we want to win the Vuelta uh, at the end, and I mean, can be, uh, uh, let's say, also Seb Kusa uh, is also a part of the team. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, for sure, the, the, the climbs and the legs, we will tell uh, clear about it. <laughs> well, I think, first of all, it's not the first time we tried it. We tried it already a few times before, and uh, I think it, it al already already went uh, pretty well um, so yeah I think yeah we work super well together and uh, we're also looking forward to being here uh, and I don't think we have to to decide I mean yeah we, we will we will see on the road and and we will help each other uh, and the main goal here is is to win uh, we're not racing against each other we're racing with each other Usually, Primoz, you come to La Vuelta and we ask you what it means to be the defending champion. Um, is it diff what is different for you this year in terms of uh, the approach of the Vuelta, maybe mentally and in the way you look at things? Hi. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, nothing really. Huh? Just the fact that uh, I could uh, plan it a bit coming here, uh, doing some uh, trainings in front and everything. And uh, yeah feels good uh, to to be on the start and finally start on uh, Saturday. So how does the route in general in this world set suit your strengths as a climber? Yeah, I think it's a, uh, seems like it's a, it's a hard course. Uh, I think that, that suits me as well and uh, suits us as, as a team. Um, so I think uh, yeah, both Primas and me are looking very much forward to it and uh, I think for us it's a it's a very nice and good course. Is a reason why you always start in the in, in the world time what you like over here in this uh, in this in this course? <laughs> uh, I mean I have no option. Huh? It's the last Grand Tour, so <laughs> I have to be <laughs> I have to be here. It's nice uh, and warm, no? Uh, yeah, <laughs> normally also the weather uh, is, uh, is is summer, so it's hot, mm, and uh, yeah, like. Uh, I like it. Uh, I like the way it's, uh, it's relaxed uh, a bit uh, more, maybe. Uh, and uh, yeah, always a lot of uh, supporters and just fun to do it. Huh? So uh, that's why year after year uh, coming here, uh, I hope for some more. Huh? Hello, a question for Jonas. Uh, during the tour, your, your biggest opponent was uh, Tadej. I know it's probably Remco with Primoz for, for the team. What's the difference between uh, Tadej and Remco and what's the strategy to, to beat uh, Remco uh, during the Vuelta? Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to me to tell because as it was said earlier, I haven't really raced a lot against uh, Remco. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of hard for me to say how they are uh, compared to each other. Um, so yeah, that's that's actually yeah hard to answer. What can you tell Jonas about uh, how that is to Grand Tours in a year? Can you explain that to us, um, uh, leg wise, form wise? Yeah, how how is that to your body? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean uh, everything is possible. Seb is doing even freer, huh? so he will know or have even more information. Uh, about it, how it feels really to have three Grand Tours in the legs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just yeah, from my point of view, it's a lot nicer uh, to, to come now here and to a race than being at home and train. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's simple, it's more fun. I agree. <laughs>